Another curve laying method using the tangent line is through radial offsets. Still the same, this method can be used for small unimportant curves. Learn about the procedure here in engineering surveys. The concept of the method is by projecting radial lines from the tangent line intervals into the center. Of course, since the center of the curve is an essential point in this method, there should not be any obstruction between the intervals and point O. Each radial offset from the tangent line would have a different inclination from the others. Unlike perpendicular offsets, that all intervals will be at 90 degrees relationship with the tangent line. Let's work on the derivation of the formula for this method. So with the simple curve shown, it was stated in the concept that the tangent length should be determined and the length of intervals should be recited. Again, the closer these intervals are placed, the curve will be drawn more accurately. So now that the length of t is known and we have decided on the interval, we can project a line from the point of interval all the way to the center of the curve and note that we again created a right triangle. Let's analyze this triangle further. Its sides are x and r, and the hypotenuse is O sub k with r. Thus, we have already generated the length of radial offsets at this point. By using Pythagorean theorem, we come up with r plus O sub k squared is equal to r squared plus x squared. So by taking the root of both terms, we get r plus o sub k is equal to the root of the quantity r squared plus x squared. And simply extract o sub k from the equation by transferring r to the other side, and we get o sub k is equal to the root of r squared plus x squared less r. This equation will be computing the length of o to draw the curve. The sample computation shows how to lay out a curve using the procedure. So we have a curve with radius of 100 meters and central angle of 45 degrees. We are required to lay a curve using 10 meter intervals from the tangent line. So we start by computing for the tangent length. The formula for t is r times tangent of delta all over 2. By plugging the given values, we have 100 times tangent of 45 all over 2, which would then be computed as 41.4213 meters. After knowing t, we can make a clearer computation of each interval by using a table. So lay out the intervals of 10 meters each, so we are to have four points, and by using the formula we just recently derived, O sub k is equal to root of r squared plus x squared less r, we simply have to use r of 100 meters and x intervals to find O. Thus, we get 0 0.4988 for x sub 10 or at 10 meter interval, 1.9804 at 20 meters, 4.4031 at a 30 meter interval, and 7.7033 for the 40 meter interval. From the field, identify where points PC and PT are and draw the tangent lines. T was computed as 41.4213 meters, where we are to designate a 10 meter interval. Now simply measure the values of O from the computation we just had earlier and do the same thing on the other end or from point PT to complete the symmetrical sides of the curve. Then connect all the endpoints to draw the curve. Mm -hmm. 